In order for hydrocell pumps to operate properly and deliver the proper performance, the oil in the hydraulic cells behind the diaphragm must be free of air. By priming the hydraulic cells, we remove that air from the hydraulic cells to provide a smooth, efficient performance for the pump. Air can become entrained in the hydraulic cells during disassembly and reassembly of the hydraulic end of the pump. Also, operating the pump with low oil level in the reservoir may allow air to become entrained in the oil. As there are some differences in the procedures, we will now describe how to prime the hydraulic cells of both Kelcel and non-Kelcel pumps. Kelcel pumps have the letter K in the fifth position of the model number. Non-Kelcel pumps do not have a K in the fifth position. Please select the appropriate priming procedure from priming hydraulic cell segments on the left of the screen. Now we will see how to prime the hydraulic cells on Kelcel pumps. Please note, providing oil prime to Kelcel fitted pumps requires pressure be applied to the diaphragms. This can be done manually or with pressurized air if available. Review both methods to determine the procedure most suitable. We will now see a method for manually priming the hydraulic cells for Kelcel pumps. Make sure the hydraulic end is filled with oil before priming. With the pump horizontal and the fluid end head removed and the diaphragms installed, fill the reservoir with the appropriate hydro oil for the application. Make sure that the oil drain cap has been installed. Have a catch basin for oil that flows from behind the diaphragms when priming. Catch the oil and dispose of it properly. Do not reuse it. All air in the oil within the hydraulic piston behind the diaphragms will be forced out by turning the shaft, thus pumping the piston. A shaft rotator is included in the hydrocell tool kit. Push on the diaphragm screws to keep pressure on the diaphragms while turning the shaft. Continue to check the oil level in the hydraulic end of the pump while turning the shaft. Maintain the oil level above the holes in the reservoir. Continue turning the shaft and checking the oil level until there is a bubble-free flow of oil coming out from behind the diaphragms. The hydraulic cells are now primed. Replace the oil fill cap. Finally, wipe excess oil from around the pump head. Note, this method requires that the fluid end, or manifold and valve plate, be installed on the pump prior to priming of the hydraulic cells. For instructions, see the section on installing the valve plate and installing the manifold. Compressed air can be used to provide the required inlet pressure on the diaphragms. In order to use compressed air, you need to block the discharge port and apply pressure to the inlet port. This air pressure will hold the diaphragms back and allow the hydraulic cells to be primed of air when the shaft is turned. You can use the plugs available from Water Engineering, or your own plugs. Install a plug in the discharge port of the pump. Install the plug with a Schrader air valve in the inlet port. Apply up to 10 psi of air pressure to the inlet port. Turn the pump shaft with the shaft rotator tool from the tool kit. With the oil fill cap removed, watch for air bubbles in the oil reservoir. Continue slowly turning the shaft until there are no more bubbles. Relieve the air pressure on the pump head and remove the plugs. The pump is now primed. non cell pumps do not have a K in the fifth position. With the pump horizontal, the fluid end head removed and the diaphragms in place, fill the reservoir with the appropriate hydro oil for the application. Have a catch basin for oil that is pumped from behind the diaphragms when priming. Catch the oil and dispose of it properly. Do not reuse the oil. All of the air in the oil within the hydraulic cell, behind the diaphragms, must be forced out by turning the shaft and thus pumping the piston. Use the shaft rotator, which is included in the water tool kit. Turn the shaft until a bubble-free flow of oil comes from behind all the diaphragms. Watch the oil level in the reservoir. 
If it gets too low during priming, air will be drawn into the pistons, inside the hydraulic end, and will cause the pump to run rough and require repriming. Check to make sure that the oil is 1 inch or 25 millimeters from the top of the fill port. Replace the oil fill cap. Wipe the excess oil from the cylinder housing and diaphragms. 